sure this meeting's still on. Oh, it doesn't matter for me. I'm stuck till six after my dad picks me up. Nobody's picking me up. Thanks. What? I lied before. I am thinking about having an abortion. That's what I wanted to talk to the counselor about. But if you've already decided, why are you here? Because I need to know how and where to get it done for nothing. I really think you ought to reconsider. After what happened to me, there ain't no way in hell I'm having this kid. We'll return with the CBS School Break special after these messages. Salon firm? No, Ogilvy. Salon firm? No, Ogilvy Home Firm. Ogilvy has a special protein enriched pre perm conditioner. It helps put your hair in its best possible condition before perming. For a home firm that looks like a salon firm with lots of body, try Ogilvy Home Firm. Okay. Sales, you clean the ball. Great. Try the slice off cling. Different. Sure. Hey, it's thick. The thickest. So it clings. Clean easy. Smells good, too. Mm. You know, this is easy. Stop yours. Slice off cling. Clings better to clean easy. Carpet dandruff. It's the powdery stuff that sticks in your rug when you use Arm and Hammer Rug and Room Deodorizer. After you vacuum, two times more powder sticks in your rug. And with this, love my carpet. It vacuums away easily. Hate lots of carpet dandruff? Get love my carpet. Tuna Noon! Tuna Sauce is gonna change your tuna about tuna! This delicious cold tuna salad! It turns plain tuna into an easy, delicious meal. Fancy macaroni and vegetables, boil and rinse in the flow-through pouch. Add our seasoning, your tuna and mayonnaise, and serve your family something to sing about. Tuna Sauce is gonna change your tuna about tuna! This cold tuna salad and our hot tuna helper, too! Now, back to the CBS School Break Special. Well, I hate to leave. The counselor could show up any minute. I wonder what's keeping her. Maybe one of us should go look for Max. All right, it's my fault. I apologize for asking the stupid question. I don't get it. It's cosine of 180 minus theta. Does anyone take trig? I know some stuff. Not me, sorry. Well, I'm as sorry as I am. I think it's minus cosine theta. Minus cosine theta. <laughs> You're right. What are you doing? I'm keeping a journal for my baby. I started it after I found out I was pregnant. Well, I was hoping that she could read it someday if I took her out. Was he? Yeah. Sarah, I just put my thoughts down in here and some pictures, too. This is my room. And this is my sister, Nancy. And this is my cat, Whisker. I don't. I just feel it, I guess. When I used to imagine myself getting married someday, I always pictured myself with a daughter. Do you think this will help her? No. Well, what else was you being her mama like you supposed to? What you doing all this for, and you don't even want to keep her? I, I just want her to know that I really love her.
I could stop abortions, too. But that doesn't make it right. I don't know, Mary Pat. You know, I never really thought about abortion before. I never even thought about getting pregnant. But now that it's happened to me, well, at least I have the choice. But it's wrong. It's a mortal sin. Well, I don't feel that way. It's my life, and I should have the right to make that decision without you or anybody else judging me. Hey, guys. I hope you're hungry. Hey, Max. Watch your back. Maybe later. Max, I'm sorry about before. Please, forgive me. Sorry. Kelly, can I ask how you got pregnant? Get real. We all know about the birds and the bees. No, it's okay. Hey, I never talked about it before. But it all saved me a twin. Sex great? Well, how's it going? Why don't you use birth control? Well, because the month that we planned it, Jeff promised that he'd just leave a condom, but he didn't. He said that the first time she'd be special and with it on, it just wasn't. You got that? Yeah. Jeff said, with it on, it's having sex, and without it, it's making love. I never even thought it could happen to me. It's been two years, and I've never missed there's nothing gruesome like that, but she just don't look like the type to fool around. That's why I did it. Fat Mary Pat, everybody's friend and nobody's fake. It's home every Friday and Saturday night. Oh, come on. Sure, go ahead. It's easy for you. You're a cheerleader. Damn, you're pretty. Max, I bet you could probably strike up a conversation with just about anybody. What? Do you think that someone would actually take me out because I just made me on a roll? They were using you. I know why they took me out, but I didn't care. You're on the pillow something. They think you're a slut. They're just spontaneous, and you're just being swept away with passion. Guys are such a jerk. Well, let's face it. Guys aren't the only ones who think like that. You know, what really makes me mad is they never even bother to ask if you're protected. It's because they're too damn busy getting your clothes off before you change your mind. Well, I never thought about no birth control. Never? Of course, I thought about it. Even went to the clinic once with Daryl. Daryl Brown, the basketball player? Yeah, he's the father. Yeah. <laughs> My old man. I know they like kind of fame. They gave him some rubbish. It was the first time for me, too. <laughs> I figured, shoot, he a senior. He ain't no virgin. You know what he's doing. Later, I told him, honey, you may know your jump shots and your hook shots, but you don't know diddly about not making babies. Now, guys get off so easy. I wish they could get pregnant. Jerks, all of them. My mom found me. finished high school, so I was going to be the first one of all of their relatives to go to college. I'm really blown it now. I can't go to school and raise a baby at the same time. My parents are just getting by. But what about that couple you talked about the ones who want to adopt your baby? If you give it to them, then, well, then everything could happen for you. It will all be the same as before. No, it wouldn't. It can never be the same. All the time, I think about the baby if I give it up. I'm looking for me someday. She'd be angry with me for what I've done. I'm thinking about her all the time. What she looks like and what she's doing. How she's being cared for. You just don't understand. This baby. For the first time. And I have to have anything. It's like all mine. 
ever say hi to her? I, I didn't know her. She was in your geometry class. Do you ever say hi to anyone like her? Or anyone like me? No, you don't. No, you won't. Because we're not yet. Your types are ashamed to be seen with people like us. When you first found out about sex, you could not believe that my parents would do such a thing. Now I know they don't. How do you know? Well, for divorce a month ago. How do you think your parents will react? I don't know. I don't know. Well, my mom always said I should talk to her about anything she tried to understand. Yeah, sure. Talk to me about anything except sex, drugs, and rock and roll. I'll never know the way you smile or laugh or turn to tears. Yet whatever I do, wherever I go, I'll love you through the years. I like that. Of course, if you'd had an abortion, you wouldn't have to talk to them at all. Provided you and Jesse get it done very soon. And we'll get married. But we have talked about it. I mean, we talked about it before I got pregnant. We just both planned on finishing college first. Mm -hmm. I suppose you two could still waltz off into the sunset and live happily ever after. Who knows, you might have been try out for mother of the year. Come on, Max. She and Jack feel they can make it. We should be happy for them. It's already made one mistake. So if you want to make another, it's your own business. Now what are you talking about? I'm trying to tell you that your boyfriend is not being honest with you. What does that mean? He really told you he was happy about you being pregnant. Yeah. And he really loved you. Yes, we've been going steady for almost a year now. And he's really faithful. Of course he's faithful. And can you explain to me why he's been down at the dance club chasing everything in a skirt? That's a lie. You're lying. I'm not into head games. Your boyfriend's a jerk, and I think you ought to quit living in a fairy tale. I remember everything about that. Turn with the CBS School Break Special after these messages. Who can forget the day Cousin Marco came all the way from Rome to visit us? You look just like your picture, Angela. This is Marco. What a feast, Mom made. And especially for Marco, our favorite, linguine with delicious ragu sauce. It seemed like we sat around the table for hours. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so, Mom, how does it feel? Like home. Uh, Ragu spaghetti sauce. That's Italian. Is Joe's face really clean? She thinks it is because she.
just wash with soap and water. But see those traces of dirt and makeup? As a skincare consultant, I recommend Pond's Cold Cream. Pond's Deep Clean. It gets your face cleaner. It lifts off the dirt and makeup that soap leaves behind. See? Pond's leaves your skin beautifully clean. And it feels so soft. Pond's Cold Cream. No soap can do what Pond's does beautifully. Alberto. Go for style. With my European styling gel. Shape and sculpt your hair with Alberto's new hair sculpture line. Contour, curve, form, and fashion. Alberto hair sculpture. When the work of art is you. New Zeo 5 hairspray is actually good for my hair. It doesn't leave it dry. It truly improves my hair's condition. It doesn't dull or damage. And the more I use it, the better my hair looks and feels. Patented Zeo 5. Good for your hair. CBS School Break Special will return. This is CBS. This is Newsbreak, sponsored by Carson Perry Scott. The mother of a 16-year-old girl who was stabbed to death in Skokie nine years ago is campaigning to keep her daughter's killer from now being paroled. Andrea Sachs was stabbed 26 times. A Cook County grand jury has indicted 37 people in an auto insurance scam. The accused allegedly pulled, would pull in front of other cars and slow them down, causing collisions. Then they'd sue for damages. Gene Siskel joins us here at 5 o'clock to review the movie Turtle Diary, starring the Academy Award winners Ben Kingsley and Glenda Jackson. I need something much larger. I mean, really large. The delicate area around your eyes that ages first and most doesn't have. New Pro Collagen Complex, especially for eyes, can help the tiny dry lines there and lift the look of slackness because of its superactive formula. New Pro Collagen Complex from Ultima 2 has an affinity for delicate skin. Use it. Save your sunglasses for a sunny day. And now, beauty privileges, your gift from Ultima 2 at Carson Peary Scott. Join us for all the day's top stories on the Channel 2 News at 5 and 6. Hollywood's primetime detectives tomorrow at 9. Your last chance of the season. Save 60% on every fur. Fashion Furs at JCPenney Woodfield Mall is sacrificing over 1,000 furs at 60% and more savings. This includes all our beautiful furs from mink and fish to flings and rabbits. Many are below original wholesale. Now through Monday at JCPenney Woodfield Mall. Save 60% and more on every fashion fur during the last sale of this season. Going back to school after my divorce was a lonely and frightening experience. But reading the article in your magazine about new careers for women really made a big difference for me. It wasn't easy. But I decided. Other women can do it. So can I. Women's Day magazine. Personal news women can use. Thank you, Women's Day. Wednesdays at Brown's, you get something new with your chicken. A choice. Sweet potatoes and a salad. Potatoes and a fry. French fries. Crispy corn fritters, hot apple pie. Mom loves fritters. French fries, mushrooms, and a mint stew. Mushrooms for me. The choice is up to you. Get 10 pieces of chicken and your choice of three big side orders for $7.99. Serves up to five for $1.60 each. The Wednesday special at Brown's. At Brown's Chicken. It tastes better. For fast relief of cold milk, <laughs> doctors recommend one formula more than any other. The formula in maximum strength decongest test. Nothing else of its kind is stronger, faster, or more effective. It contains the formula doctors recommend most to help clear nasal and sinus congestion, dry runny nose, stop sneezing. I never knew I could feel better so fast. That's decongest tablets with the formula doctors recommend most. 
or decongest 12 hour capsule. And now, back to the CBS School Break special. Babies Having Babies contains realistic dialogue regarding teenage pregnancy. Parents are urged to view this program with their children. Why didn't you go to the police? I don't see no chance. But I know people think of me because of the way I look. I wasn't exactly a virgin, you know. But I just went home, showered 10,000 times, cried all night. It's not an easy thing to forget. Things aren't real cool at home right now. My mom's all broken up about the divorce. Every time I see my dad, he's drunk or trying real hard to get there. Last thing those two need is a race trial to go to. I wasn't even sure they'd be on my side. Just barely hanging on. The last thing I needed was another lecture. Hey, y'all. We got a great idea. So then I said, ma'am, if you don't know how this happened mm. after being married 12 years, I ain't about to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I smelled food in here. What are you doing? Having some pizza. You want a slice? No, thanks. You're not supposed to be eating in here. We're sorry. And you gotta be out by six. We will. I lock up every day at six. I know. <laughs> we got rules here. Guys are the worst. I mean, I hate walking down the street by myself. They drive by in their cars and they whistle and catcall. It's so embarrassing. I just feel like dropping in a hole. You should do what I do. What's that? Give them the old bird. <laughs> <laughs> Guys get off so easy, don't they? Oh, come on, let's face it. We all could have said no. Mm, it doesn't always work. Yeah, but say no and really mean it. it doesn't always work. I think I'm missing something here. I mean, sometimes you let yourself get talked into things you really don't want to do. Yeah, I know what you mean. Anyone want any of these mushrooms? I'll take them. You know, I saw this movie a couple of weeks ago, and there was this romantic scene where they first met. And the next scene, they're in her apartment making love. No one's even thinking about making a baby. Of course not. Nobody ever gets pregnant in the movie. Oh, but that's because everyone always assumes that she's taking care of it. It's her responsibility. She's on the pill or a diaphragm. Just let her worry about it. It's her problem. Why is our responsibility? I remember when I got the pills, I kept thinking, okay, so I'm safe now, but what are these things going to do to my body? I mean, in the long run. You know, while taking the pills, still safer than getting pregnant. Says who? No, it's a fact. I read it in the paper. Do you know that more teenagers die from complications of pregnancy than complications from the pill? I really need to hear that. Well, I think that both people should share the responsibility. I can see that really work for you. You know what I mean. <laughs> you know what I think? I don't think we should be talking about birth control at all. Are you crazy? I'm not only going to believe this, but I wish I'd never done it the first time. I mean, if I wasn't having sex, there'd be no reason to talk about it. Lack of it. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on, the truth. Did you really want to go all the way the first time? I mean, did you really want to have sex? I did. <laughs> <laughs> that shoots my theory down, Brenda. Thanks a lot. I did. That was a hunk and a half. Yeah, but I always took it real slow. Just uh, nothing heavy, and he always stopped when I told him to. Oh, let's face it. 
Sometimes you don't want to stop. <laughs> it's true. Sex feels real good. <laughs> Especially when Joey kisses. Oh. So why don't you just kiss yourself to death? Why do you have to go all the way? I mean, you can't even think. Well, why did you? The first time, I mean. I don't know. I mean, none of my friends are virgins. I just wanted to be like everybody else. I felt all this pressure. If you feel that way, why do you dress the way you do? I like the way I look. Yeah, but it says sex. There's nothing wrong with being sexy. God, I'm getting stuck. Does anybody want this slice? Yeah. You sure? Yeah, positive. I have to eat dinner at home tonight, too. Oh, why don't you just tell your parents that you stopped off for pizza with some friends? I can't. My mom thinks I'm candy striping at the hospital. <laughs> You're a real model teenager, you know that? Yeah. I mean, you ought to try up one of those pageants like Miss Teenage America. <laughs> Aren't you forgetting something? What? I'm pregnant. <laughs> oh, it's a minor detail. <laughs> <laughs> that written in the rules somewhere. All contestants must not now nor ever have been pregnant. <laughs> no, listen, I think they do. I remember one beauty queen saying that she was a virgin and she was going to stay that way till she was married. Oh, yeah, and I'm a member of the DAR. What's that? Daughters of the American Revolution. How did you know about the DAR? I beg your pardon? Who doesn't know about the DAR? I didn't. <laughs> you know, I dressed up like you once. Drugs. Had to be drugs. No, I'm glad you me to a concert and I, th I thought it would be fun. Who was it? Definitely liberating. You know, sometimes I get tired of trying to be what everyone expects me to be. It's really hard to picture you dressed like me. Yeah, it was hard for my mom, too. She wouldn't let me out of the house that way. Oh, what a shame. Yeah, would have blown Jeff away. We have a dress code. I wrote a really good editorial about it once. I won second prize at the school newspaper state competition. Really? Were you for it or against it? Oh, definitely against it. Uh, everyone should be all dressed. <laughs> the way they want. It's a basic freedom. I mean, is anything like life, liberty, and the pursuit of a wannabe? <laughs> That's a very nice caption. Is that what you want to be, a journalist? Mm -hmm. I'm applying to Princeton, Brown, and Yale. You would not believe the competition. My goal is to win a Pulitzer surprise someday. Well, do you really think you could? Sure, why not? Well, I thought I was going to college, but now... <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's gonna stop me. I mean, I don't have a baby. I mean, uh, I'll have an abortion. You're not really pregnant, are you? Oh, Max, that's crazy. She wouldn't be here if she wasn't pregnant. I'm telling you, she's lying. I don't know why, though. There was something really funny about you from the beginning. You kept asking everyone all these questions, but when we asked you, you didn't open your mouth. I mean, Max, now, now, come on. I mean, she said she didn't want to talk about it. There's no crime in that. We all volunteered what we said. That's because we all thought we were in the same boat here. Lisa? Come on, Miss Pulitzer Prize-winning editor. You're not pregnant, are you? Are you? Return with a CBS School Break special after these messages. Across America, 10 million kids are growing up with Flintstones. Now the first children's vitamin with NutraSweet. We are Flintstones kids. Flintstones, now with NutraSweet. And growing. Looking at things from a new point of view, and it's feeling strange to you. But McDonald's is the place that brings a smile to your face. I like your glasses. Really? No matter how many changes you go through, nothing hides the real beauty inside of you. It's a good time. How many french fries do you see? None. For the grapes of McDonald's. And now, back to the CBS School Break special. Why would you tell us you're pregnant if you're not? We just feel like a bunch of jerks. 
Here we are spilling our guts out to each other. I'm sorry. Please believe me. I really am. But why? Why did you do it? I thought it would make a great story for the school paper. Great. That's just great. Let her finish, Max. When I heard about this counseling session for pregnant students, I thought it would be such a great idea to write a story from their point of view. Find out what they were going through, what they were dealing with. Why? Do you know how we feel when we get lectures from parents or teachers, but we listen to what other girls have to say? Oh, cut it out, Lois Lane. You don't care about our problems. You're only looking out for yourself. Wait a minute, Max. Lisa's right. You're crazy. Am I, Max? You said it before. You didn't want to go to your parents because they were barely hanging on. You didn't want another lecture. I know. I, I, I wouldn't listen to my mom. That's why I'm here. Exactly. That's exactly my point. Then why didn't you ask us? I, ge I guess I just didn't think you'd be honest with me. Open up to me. I thought, I thought you'd cover up like you have been doing up until today. We were honest, all right. We didn't know we were talking to a spy. How could you do this? We thought that you were one of us. We trusted you. You cannot write this article now, Lisa. If my parents ever found out no, what no, I said, no. I'm going to change your names, oh, your faces, no, everything. writing on the side, huh? And what were you going to say about me? Let's see here. Oh, there's this one trashy-looking girl, a junior, a real slut. Oh, but we must be sympathetic for her, because she was dumb enough to get herself raped. You've got one hell of a nerve. That's not what I think! I don't give a damn what you think. I don't give a damn what any of you think. wrong. I was thinking about myself, about school, but I just want to get into a good college so bad. I want to make something of myself. And you don't think we do? Or maybe somehow we don't count because we've already screwed up. It's going to be a lot harder for us than for you, believe me. I know. I do realize that now, but when I came in here, you guys were just faces. I didn't know you. I, I didn't know any of you. I didn't know anything about you. you. You, somehow you weren't real, if that makes any sense. Objects. That's all we were to you. Some things to observe and then write about. You make that sound so cold. Detached. That's what it was, Lisa. You think you could... Never be one of us. You think this, this could never happen to you? You've just been lucky. What you doing in here? Just thinking. You want some? No, thanks. Mrs. Chapman isn't coming, is she? Maybe tomorrow she will. I can't come tomorrow. You know, I always thought that Jeff and I were so close. I suspect something was going on. Max never should have told you about seeing him. No, I'm glad she did. It took a lot of guts. Are you going to break up with him? I don't know. I wasn't being honest before when I said that Jeff was right there for me and that we might get married. When I told him I was pregnant, he just looked at me like I ruined his day. You know, I really envy her. Who, Max? Yeah. She doesn't know how to be dishonest. Can I ask you something? Sure. If you really love your baby, how can you be thinking of giving it up? It's not my decision. It's my parents. You don't think I should keep my baby, do you? Yes, I do. Really? Mm-hmm.
cave in here. Max, don't leave yet. The bus is coming. We'll see you guys later. You have time. Max, I'm sorry. I've been a total jerk. You got that right. She really is sorry. What about the article? Oh, there won't be any article. I promise you. No one will ever know what went on here. Here. It never happened. Yeah, like the Nazis and the Holocaust. Max, come on. You ain't the only one Lisa lied to. We was here too, you know. She made a mistake. We all make them. Brenda's right. If she doesn't learn from her mistakes, I mean, well, what's the point? We can't undo what's happened to us. We just have to live with it. So will Lisa. I forgive you, Lisa. Come on, Max. You're better than that. I think that article should be written. What? Uh, Mary Pat says makes sense. I never said anything about the article. No, but you said it was important for us to learn from our mistakes. I mean, Lisa's motives for writing about us, they were all screwed up. But that doesn't mean the idea was bad. It's true that we listen to our friends more than anybody else. Max, I don't want to write the article anymore. I'm with Max. It's a good idea. Yeah, but it should be anonymous, so no one gets credit and nobody gets exploited. I don't know. Let me think about it. You don't have time to think about it. This is how you're going to pay us back. Make reparation. It's a deal. Deal. Good deal. 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 Oh, oh, thank God you're still here. I I'm Mrs. Chapman. My car died on me while I was on the freeway. I, I didn't think you'd wait. There was no way for me to reach you. I if I could just have your names. Kelly. Kelly. Sorry, my parents are expecting me for dinner. Mary Pat. Mary Pat. Sorry, my dad's waiting. <laughs> Lisa. Sorry, I'm not pregnant. Maxine, I got a bus to catch. Wait up, Max. I'll walk you to the bus. Brenda, what happened? I can't explain. You really had to be here. I, I gotta go babysit my kid's sister now. Okay. Miss Chapman? Yes? Can I come talk to you tomorrow? Sure, I'll be here. On time. Bye. Bye. Good night, Emily. Good night, honey. Excuse me, Miss Chapman, it's 6 o'clock. I've got to clean this room and lock up. No, Henry, if, if I could just catch my breath for a minute. Oh, sure. Can you come pick me up? Great. Okay, I'll be waiting inside. I love you, too. Put your seatbelt on. Okay. Thanks, Dad. Maybe you better call me Grandpa. Here's my number. I think that's your bus. Yeah. You really gonna be there when the baby comes? I promise. I'm gonna call. pregnancies in the United States alone.